for both guys, just what kind of loss was, was Nick right before the half? Or I, was that kind of difficult to overcome? Um, yeah, I would say uh, it was a tough loss. You know, we were kind of uh, emotional about it. You know, cause we, we went back and got to see the actual play. You know, so um, we, we just—I don't know. It was—it was shocking. You know, what I'm saying all we could do was just pray for him and wish for the best. Reggie, last time out in a road game, you struggled a little bit against Kentucky tonight. 18 points in 20 minutes. What was different tonight? What was working for you? Oh, really? Uh, just my all-around game. I just wanted to go out there and play hard and um, try to get the win. Uh, be more efficient in the minutes that I'm playing. Eric, several of uh, Alabama got, got several points inside the paint and had a lot of success in the post and, and finished had some dunks and things. What, what, talk about you guys' defense and things inside tonight and, and what may have went wrong. Uh, I said, um, we, we had some struggles, you know, uh, with our schemes that, that we uh, went over, you know. Uh, they weren't working, and sometimes we wasn't executing with them, you know. So uh, we got to go back to the drawing board, watch film, and get better for the next game. Reggie, uh, got down by a dozen there kind of midway through the second half. Y'all were able to get back into it. You had a big part in that. What was your, kind of your mindset over that stretch that you were able to get, the, you know, get, get things down to three points? Uh, I just wanted to uh, come out and stay positive. I knew that we stayed positive, uh, positive things were going to happen. So uh, we just wanted to get stops and uh, make a run. Uh, Eric, what would you say uh, are the reasons you and Abdul are struggling to, to score in the paint and, and to be reliable once you guys get the ball on the block? Uh, what would you say are the, what would you attribute to those struggles here lately? Um, I would just say uh, we're going to keep staying positive, keep uh, being aggressive down there, you know, and, and those, those shots are going to fall next time. I know that. <clears throat> Eric, uh, you already talked about the team defense lapses. I think Joel asked the question. Uh, what are you guys saying to each other when you know you're looking behind you and they're going up for another dunk? Are you, is it frustrating to watch that? And it, how, how do you guys go about you know playing more consistently as a team defense? Um, I would just say just, just staying relaxed, you know, and just, just staying with the game plan. You know, uh, I feel like sometimes uh, we'll do a little bit more than what uh, we we needed to. And, and as me, I, I, I take the blame of not keeping the guys calm as, as being the leader of the team, and I got to do better at that. Eric, it's the second straight road game, and y'all have only made three three pointers during the game. I know that's a big part of y'all's offense. Is there any difference between shooting threes on the road versus at home? Um, I wouldn't say that. I just feel like, you know, you got to stay, stay on the path, you know, just, just keep getting in the gym, keep working on our shot, and they're going to fall. Got time for a couple more before we get Coach Allen in here. Eric, last week, lost on the road, then you come home and you had a big win. This week, you got to go back on the road on Saturday. How quickly can you guys get it turned around? What's your mindset going up to all this? Uh, staying positive, you know. Um, it's nothing that we can change uh, before we play the next road game. So we got to get ready and get ready to battle again. Anything else for the players? Thank you, guys.